This is the first time that a real high-end microphone manufacturer has developed a microphone specifically for harmonica. All the microphones that blues harmonica players have used over the last decades were not made for that purpose. They were actually tannoy microphones, taxi microphones, stuff like this, made for public address systems and not designed for the harmonica. It's a fortunate coincidence that they were quite good for it. But with the um, HB52, this is the first time that we've actually had a microphone made for purpose. Hona cooperated with SE Electronics to design this microphone because SE Electronics possesses the expertise that you need to create dedicated elements for specific purposes because they build a large range of microphones of all kinds for stage and studio. So, uh, in my opinion, it was a wise decision to approach a high quality manufacturer with the request that they develop specifically a dedicated element for this type of use. It's small enough to enclose really easily in the hands with the harmonica so that you can completely cup the instrument. I can't unfortunately turn around, so you're going to have to get behind me to see that. Um, then it's got an excellent volume pot. This Born volume pot gives you a completely linear uh, increase in volume so that you don't have a spike like you do with many poor quality potis. It has uh, a flat front. The right angle cutoff of the grill means that you can completely seal the instrument and the harmonica so that you can you can't hear anything because uh, it's possible to get a total seal. It's got an XLR connector, which is very easy and practical and also extremely stable and gives the best signal. So it combines a whole load of different qualities, which from my point of view as a player are all extremely desirable and which are not available in any other product on the market. A lot of the design characteristics of the HB52 come from my microphone, which was a custom mic built for me using a Harley Davidson blinker as a shell. And uh, it featured a volume control on the back and a flat front of the grill. This is a microphone that I played for many, many years and came to the conclusion that it was the perfect size and gave better handling than the larger mics without the, um, without the flat front. That was why I suggested to use these features because I've had many years of practical experience with them and they work. The development process took about two years from start to finish. We started off by listing the desired characteristics that a harmonica microphone should have, which is that it should be of a good size, that it should have an element that has a high impedance output, a high Z output, so that it can drive a tube amp. And then we went on to look at the different kinds of elements which are popular with harmonica players, then tweak the frequency response of the element to make sure that it sounded like we thought it ought to. And this testing was done by a group of professional players. This mic is made for people who want to play amplified harmonica, that is mainly, but not exclusively, diatonic harmonica through a tube amp like the one I have here. The reason to design a special element for this microphone is because the elements that harmonica players have traditionally used were not made for harmonica and it's only coincidence that they worked for it. This is the first time that a serious microphone developer has created from scratch a, micro, a dynamic microphone element which works for harmonica and is of consistent production quality because if you use vintage mics, they're all different. There's no two that are the same. And uh, 
with the HB52, we can safely say that they're all going to respond in the same way. <laughs> Whew, what a microphone! <laughs>